Hi, Mark Gordon on Sunday, January the 22nd, 2012 with your gold, silver, and spider report. Uh, taking a look now at the GLD, the uh, gold uh, uh, fund, and uh, had a wild day on Friday, a big reversal, came down, sliced through this 50-day moving average, the blue line, and then quickly righted itself back up uh, to close to a recent new high uh, on some very substantial volume. So that, this is actually a great uh, sign of support of gold uh, in this range here. You can notice also that we had a big volume day here about uh, six sessions ago. And uh, so big volume coming in on up days is actually a very welcome sign here. Uh, managing to stay above all the key moving averages. Uh, you'll notice here that uh, the green dotted line is the 100 day moving average and that just crossed the 200 day moving average, this black dotted line um, <clears throat> about uh, five or six sessions ago. So that's a great sign there. Um, Certainly being above uh, uh, and testing uh, this 50-day moving average successfully is a great, great sign. So gold uh, poised to move higher. And jumping now to a weekly chart, uh, uh, the GLD gained 1.76% last week and is clearly over this blue line, which is the 10-week moving average, a very key moving average here. And also I drew in this uh, blue dotted line, which is an overhead trend line, and it's cleared above that as well. Um, so these are all good signs. Our next uh, test will come in here just up ahead at the 20-week moving average, which is at $164. Uh, we did close at $162.07, so just right up ahead is a little bit more resistance. If we clear that, then the next level of resistance will be up here at this previous high here at about the 175 and a half level. And moving on to silver now, this is the SLV, a big, big day for silver on Friday. Uh, had an almost 5% move here, uh, retaking this blue line, the 50-day moving average, in a big way on strong volume. So this is a fantastic move. Breaking through this sort of downtrend that we've been in uh, clearly and uh, uh, certainly getting above resistance here at the 50-day is a very key sign. Next point of resistance will come in here at the 100-day moving average, this green dotted line, uh, which is at 32.24, 32.24, about a dollar above the close on Friday, which was at 31.22, 31.22. And then once we clear that, uh, next point of resistance will come in at about the $35 area, which is the 200-day moving average. So silver clearly breaking this downtrend that it's been in uh, since uh, the fall of last year. Now if we jump to a weekly chart of the SLV, we can see, see that we've clearly broken this downtrend and uh, uh, substantially above the blue line, the 10-week moving average, and uh, now getting resistance here at the 20-week moving average at about the 3150 level. So um, <clears throat> a great uh, run here, about a four-week run off the bottom here, and uh, S uh, silver trying to make a run here. Um, got some overhead resistance to get through, but uh, certainly a, a very strong move here. And moving on to stocks now, um, this is the SPY, the S&P 500 uh, fund, and uh, made a new recent high here, up uh, just about uh, a half, 0.5% um, um, uh, here, hardly a move at all, but uh, none nonetheless a new recent high. Uh, we broke out of this flag uh, formation here and this overhead resistance line uh, at the beginning of the year and have been running ever since. So 2012, been a good year so far for stocks and precious metals. Um, not a lot of heavy volume uh, in this move here, but uh, certainly um, uh, an impressive move nonetheless. And when we jump to a weekly chart of the SPY, uh, we can see this move that's been taking place uh, actually since uh, about mid-November. And um, <clears throat> a great, um, a great uh, sign that we are above all the key moving averages here and powering higher. Next uh, stop will be at about the 134.15 level, the previous high of this, uh, this cup. Uh, we made this high back here in the summer and then had a pretty uh, substantial correction down and now we're riding ourselves back up here. Um, so uh, uh, stocks looking uh, good, um, powering higher. Volume has not been uh, heavy uh, during this move here, but uh, nonetheless we do have uh, uh, stock prices moving higher in 2012. 
and stocks are in a confirmed uptrend according to Investors Business Daily, this is the time you want to be looking for potential buy candidates, stocks breaking out of bases on big volume, and you want to take chances on those because this is the time to take chances. Not all stock purchases work out, of course, but uh, if you are choosing correctly during a, um, a confirmed market rally, your chances of success are greatly improved. So good luck, everybody, and uh, please subscribe to my channel.